it's time for a mini tutorial. If you have a 2D printer and a PDF and you want to print out the rules, but you don't want to print them out on a full size sheet of paper. Most PDF readers have an option to print it in booklet mode and booklet mode will make it so that it prints two pages per sheet on both sides. So four pages on one sheet. And then if you fold it over, you get a copy of the rules. But keep in mind, it's doing some shenanigans in there because it's not just printing one, two, three, four. No, it has to print them four, one, two, three, in order for it to fold properly and have one on the front, two on the inside and four on the back. However, if you'd like to be able to take this cut these pages in half and then fold them in half to make a quarter size sheet. Well, there's no ready option to do that. So you have to do it yourself. So here's how you do that. To begin with, you're going to need a sacrificial piece of paper. Take a terrible pair of scissors and roughly cut it in half. Put them both together, fold them in half in booklet form, and then just like a booklet, flip through the pages. But as you do, mark each page. So here we go. Page one, page two, page three, page four and five, page six and seven, and lastly, page eight. Then take your sheets, lay them back out, and then go into your PDF printer. And when you hit print, tell it to put four per page. And then under the which pages to print, choose custom and then type in the numbers that you see on your reference page. So I would type in two comma seven comma four comma five comma, then flip it over and keep going with eight comma one comma six comma three. Be sure to use print on both sides. You can use a little paper cutter to do a more precise measure and cut. Take your pages, stack them up in the right order, fold them in half, and there you've got a quarter size rule booklet. Using this technique, you can make quarter size booklets for any amount of pages that you need. You'll save on paper, you'll save on space, and they'll work great in most 3D printed projects.